this go at, uh, in the Gryffindor house is going to be at thematic development and uh, like every solo I ever do, I don't really know how it's going to turn out. So it may be a real beauty, it might have lots in it that you can use and that's what I'm hoping, that's the point of doing this. Uh, but it also has a, a, a risk attached to it because uh, sometimes you can overthink when you're doing this kind of thing and everybody knows with art and with sport and with life there's a, a real balance between overthinking and not thinking and not thinking enough and how to get that right is I guess what we're all after. I don't know what that's called. Um, so thematic development means that I come up with an idea and, and I don't chuck it away and I don't just play it twice. I really try and see what I can do with it. It's, it's about variation, it's about sequences, it's about repetition. I add notes, I subtract notes from it. Um, let's see what happens with it. Here it comes. With a head to start with. I've done better thematic solos but you can hear what I did well and maybe what I didn't do so well I think can be really useful for you to go yeah I don't think that bit really worked very well at all um, but give it a go give it a go yourself come up with a theme and uh, try adding variations on it like I said pull it around turn it upside down I didn't do that I forgot to turn it upside down retrograde that's a real composer's thing turn it backwards um, stretch it out Use little bits of it. My theme was quite short. Ba da 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 da, I think was the theme that I started with. Uh, so you can stretch it out, make it mm, do do de, da do. I don't think I ever got really that slow. We can make it somewhere in between across the time. I uh, could have done more with dynamics and articulations, I guess, too, with all that. There's so much you can do. Have a crack. <laughs> 